everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on this holiday season? Right, so I've been working on my Clan Asian Warband a little bit more. I told you guys I would. I've, been, I've just about managed to get another day out here working on a few little bits. So I've got about four models kind of nearly finished now. Uh, going to be working on much more over the next holiday season. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this project. Anything you guys like, let me know. Anything you think I should do or change, make sure to let me know as well. You know, it's kind of... I want you guys to be invested in this as much as I am. So uh, let's just, no more chit chat, let's just have a look at the desk. Okay, so the first few models I wanted to work on were the black, the four black Skaven. Uh, one with a warp lock pistol, two with a halberd or spear, and one with just a sword. Now, the models I've been using for these kind of convert, conversion slash kit bashing are... The Skaven Blade Scramblers from the Blood Ball box because that box is just incredible for Skaven guys. Um, now first up obviously this is the guy with a halberd. Um, I didn't do too much with him. The only kind of thing I did was I swapped out his right arm for the halberd. Now it's a bit long for... Someone who's meant to be in clan Asian, but it was the first guy I was working on. So I might change that up down the line. But I might keep it, I know it's kind of nice to have like a big long halberd sticking out uh, from a warband. So what I did was, his I cut off his hand, I cut it back a little bit, and I took the arm from a dwarf. Uh, a dwarven standard bear, dwarven standard bear. Uh, cut the top of it off, put a, a storm vermin halberd piece on top of that um, and I kind of just left it then at that because this hand was really hard to glue it wouldn't stay properly but it's, it's fine for now um, he's fine and dandy he's done then I went on to the other kind of halberd spear guy and I went with a spear for this fella obviously it's a bit hard to see his head um, I did convert or I did change his head I used one of the old uh, night runner Slash, see the night runner or good runner, the old guys from the box. Uh, it looks like he has no neck, which I was like, oh, this looks so stupid. But it looks kind of fun at the same time. He looks like one of those old grizzled uh, veteran guards that's like, you know, hunched over. He's so muscly and everything. So uh, what I did was I gave him a spear from the skeleton kit. Um, just put it through his hand. Well, I didn't put it through his hand. It's two separate bits uh, glued together. And it's just as simple as that. It, I am... Um, that's all I did with him as well. Uh, they're a bit heavily armoured, I know. But I think I can get away with the Black Skaven being a little bit more heavily armoured than the rest of them. So, then for the other guy with the Warp Lock Pistol. Actually, let me let me take this off here. Let me put him on the good paint and handle. This guy is... Uh, what did I say? Warp Lock Pistol guy. I wanted to give him two. But it really wasn't looking. Uh, so what I did was I changed the heads. I gave him a different head. Let's see if I can focus in on the head a little bit better there. Almost there you go. Um, I this is a head from a bits box that I had that I got off eBay for Skaven, and I really I couldn't tell you what bit it's from. Uh, he had this is obviously the Troar model. So that is this guy. I know it's not going to focus too much in there. So obviously I cut off the top of the tail and I just stuck on an old uh, tail bit from one of the other models. Um, and then the gun of course is a piece from the dwarves again. I have a lot of, I have a lot of dwarven pieces in a box. So uh, I basically just stuck it on his hand. What I did, what I wanted to do was I had pistols with hands already on them, the dwarf hands uh, but the hands were just too big to look like scaven hands so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but I did cut across this hand here this arm is a tiny tiny little bit shortened yeah you're not going to be able to see it there's too small but uh, I had it there and it wasn't working <coughs> so I had to stick his hand back on and then just give him a look with one pistol instead uh, he's okay for now he's not too bad um i did have this other head i wonder if i can find it very quickly 
Let me see, let me see, let me see. Now I don't know if this is going to go in focus. I hopefully it will. If you can just about see that, it's a scaven head, but it's, the eyes are covered over. And I kind of, I had that head stuck on him first, but it made him look like as if he was blind. And I was like, I, that's not really going to work for a guy who's meant to be shooting a pistol. So I kept that head to a side, and what, I'm, what, what I was thinking, when I come to the assassin, let me see if I have a model. Now, originally, if I could get another, uh, what's the guy's called? Another one of these models. Obviously, this guy is converted up, he's changed. But this body, if I could take his head off, put that head on with the eyes covered over so it looks like he's blind, change the arms to give him two blades, two swords, you know, just like the uh, a weeping blades, and he would be like this blind assassin, you know, he's he's so good, he doesn't need his eyes, he's blind and everything. That would have been a real kind of fluffy bit for the warband. So I'm going to have to try and keep an eye out if I can get another uh, warlord model like this. Oh shit. Although I, sh I, might, I should have another one somewhere. I definitely have more than one of these around. I just have to look for it. Um, and then finally, I only, <clears throat> I only got around to working on four of these guys. So, let me show you the last guy. Now, it wasn't the Black Skaven guy. I still have one more to go and I have to give him a sword. So, I have to go look around for a sword piece. So, it was this guy. Uh, the Eshin Sorcerer. Now, this is another body I had from the Bits box that I got off eBay somewhere. Or off some guy. Or I think my cousin might have given me this piece. Um, I thought the way he's pointing, his body's hunched over. The robes are flown forward. So, what I did was... He had no arms in the in the bits box, so I drilled out the arm bits and I put these arms on him. And what I wanted to do is, well, what I did was I cut this iron part off. I put the pointing finger from uh, the storm vermin box on uh, to look like he's pointing the way. And then with this part, this is actually this is on his right arm, but it's actually a left sided arm. But I was able to get it to work. Um. Let me see if I can get it in focus a bit better. So, uh, obviously, one of the, the only thing I really wanted to give him was his uh, kind of wizard staff type of thing. So, from an old kit bash thing I had, I had this old Skaven staff. I'm trying to think what this is from. It's from the the bell, the big bell model. With the Pestilence guy on it. Pestilence Wizard I think. So obviously I'm going to have to strip the paint. Take this kind of cloth piece off. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to stick it right here. So it looks like he's kind of carrying his staff into battle. He's pointing the way. And I think that's going to look really awesome. Uh, that's all I've got done for now. I think. Let me think. I think I'm going to convert not maybe not all the models but i'm going to try and convert up a good few at first and then i'm going to try and paint them uh just so i won't be kind of going back and forth with things or maybe if i am i'll only be going like a little bit um so these are almost done all i have to do is sort out the wizard guy with the staff and then i think i might go on to the night runners um i'm still looking at what bits i have for a rat ogre I'm really hoping to try and get something cool for the Rad Ogre. Um, and then obviously to tie in with the team. Because I said to you guys that I'm wanting these to kind of look like they're all in their kind of headquarters. Their hideout in a graveyard. And that's obviously to try and fit in with, you know, this guy. You know, he's coming out with uh, the graveyard gates there. He's, he's standing up on top of it. You have like the... The little guys on the bottom on the base there. I managed to stick this guy on. Look at him just hanging around there. Full of focus on him. There we go. He's just kind of hanging around there, looking down to get, looking to climb down with his uh, Wolverine claws. Well, Wolverine claw. He only has one arm. I forgot about that. Um. So it's going to be very themed. So hopefully the bases will bring him to life as well. These kind of graveyard bases, graveyard walls, fences, and stuff like that. It's going to look really awesome for the gutter runners or the night runners so plenty of things to stay tuned for hopefully you guys like this 
Uh, it's a fun project. Hopefully, I can get a bit more done over the holiday season here as well. And I still have to go through a lot of bits to try and see what I can do as well. Because really, once I have the Black Skaven done, that's four. I have four Night Runners, four Vermin That's so that's eight. A Rad Ogre, that's nine. Two Assassins, eleven. Maybe another one or two on top of that. That's like I've only like thirteen models left to to make up and create, you know. So, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like these ideas so far. Stay tuned for much more conversions and kit bashing and other crazy ideas coming up as well. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, and leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.